Hey guys, what's up? My name is Daniel and today I'm going to be showing you and teaching you how to sell on Macari. I've been selling on Macari, Afra, Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, Poshmark. Lately, lately, I found the most success on Macari. Before I had a lot of success on Craigslist and Afra, but Macari lately has very, been very good. I have over 40 sales on Macari alone and even more on other marketplaces. Just some background information, I'm 15, freshman, hate school, and love just to work. So if you're around my age, I hope this inspires you. So first off, you're going to need an item. <laughs> my first online sale online was a jacket that I literally found in my closet and it was too small on me so I just posted it up. So if you have stuff laying around the house, you know, maybe even in your closet or something like that and you don't wear or you don't use it anymore, uh, that's a great first item to sell. If you really don't have nothing to sell, which I, I doubt that, but if you really don't have nothing to sell, you can head over to your Marshalls, TJ Maxx, uh, Burlington, Ross, Goodwill, um, just like these retail stores and thrift shops, you can head over there, you can get some stuff for cheap to resell, but you gotta look at eBay completed sales, or even uh, Mercari completed sales. You gotta check for how much they're selling more because you don't wanna buy it for more than you're selling because you won't make any profit. So, And account for shipping because you may or may not have to pay for shipping depending on what you choose. Oh, I don't have any money. Well, if you don't have any money, you can head over to Craigslist, scroll down to the, there should be a free section. Click on that, there's gonna be free things to sell. They're gonna be the hardest to flip, but it's a way to start. It's still something you can flip. Sometimes you can even find like crazy stuff for free. It can be anything, it could be a teddy bear. Um, and you might be wondering, oh, how am I gonna get there? Uh, you can ride a bike, you can walk, you can take the bus, you can ask somebody for a ride. <laughs> I mean, there's a bunch of stuff. So guys, this is all just about no excuses. If you're a true entrepreneur, you would find a way. So now that you got a product, you're gonna wanna place it on the marketplace. Now that you got the item, you are going to want to list it on the Macari marketplace. First, let's start with pictures. Take some good pictures with some good lighting. Uh, you can get lighting for free, like uh, this sun outside, you know? There's some, I know some people that take pictures outside because the sun is just great at lighting. Make sure your background isn't really noisy, like you can, Maybe even like do it against a wall or if you have like a bunch like a big piece of white paper Like those big rolls uh, you can use that you can use the back of a cardboard box Yeah, just something that's very plain usually whites really good But just something that is doesn't have like a bunch of stuff going around and take some good steady pics You know make the make sure the focus is all right and uh, take pictures in four by three now that you have your picks, you're gonna want to make a title. Um, I gotta get an item for this video, so I'll be back. Okay, I found something. So my mom has like a bunch of our, well this was mine. Uh, it is too small on me. So my mom basically just like hoarded a bunch of our kids clothes. And so now I just have a bunch of stuff to sell. A lot of the stuff is not named brand, that's why it's kind of hard for me to sell it. So this is a... H&M boys sweater and it is size 10 12 so I've listed all my pictures on here right and then I've just made the title boys sweater size 10 12 for the category it's different for different things uh, I put mine under kids boys tops and shirts the brand like I said H&M if I, uh, if your item doesn't have a brand you can click on this and click on no brand, but this one has a brand. These kind of kids clothes doesn't really have like a, like a medium or large or small or whatever, it just says like the 10, 12. So I always just put it to medium. But if it does say like large or small, if it says something like that, then click that. Condition, uh, I put like new, to, I put it as like new because I barely wore this. Like literally, I think I only wore this. Like, like look at the condition. Like it looks like it just got it. I don't remember wearing this much. So uh, color, it doesn't really matter. Just put green because there's a green on it. And for the description, just wrote good condition, not worn much no rips or tears, and free shipping. We'll talk about shipping in a second. But uh, yeah, it's better if you have like more of a, a more description, uh, but I was just listening, listing these 
uh, kind of fast. I try to be as descriptive and specific. If there's anything wrong with it, tell the person. Don't hide it because they will find out and they'll either give you a bad review or return it. For the tags, I put a sweater, boys 10, and 10 year old. It says offers buyers free shipping. If you're selling something very cheap, something that you don't think nobody would spend over $10 for, I would do $5 and make them pay for shipping. But because I th I've, I've kind of realized that more, even if you make the price higher, if it has free shipping, people will buy it more. But I did free shipping, I weighed it. So for shipping, you're gonna wanna get a scale, a printer, if you guys don't have a printer, you guys can go to your local library or for me personally, I first started doing it at school. Like I would go to school, go on my email, uh, get the label and print it out at school. And you're gonna want something to package your item with. A box is fine. For clothes, I really recommend these poly mailer. Uh, these are 10 by, no, 13 by 10. Um, I should have got smaller ones, but they're they're good for sweaters and I uh, got them in yellow I don't know they thought they were cool and I think they were like 15 bucks I'm not sure literally I bought like I think like a thousand or a hundred no I think a hundred but a hundred's a lot and um, I still have a lot so yeah about a hundred of these clothes it's not gonna break like glass so you just put it in there hit the scale I got this scale at Walmart, really cheap. You just go to the kitchen section and buy it. I don't remember how much it was. I don't know if you guys can see, but it says 9.1. They have a couple different things. Uh, they have a ship your own and a prepaid label. I always do the prepaid label. And then you can pick your weight. If it's under 0.5 pounds, you can click it as that. It's cheaper. It's actually like $4. For 0.5 and 1 pounds ounce, it is $5. And it just goes up and up and up all the way. And you can ship stuff from all the way to 150 pounds, and that's probably a lot. Yeah, it's 90 bucks shipping. I always do the USPS one. If you have a FedEx closer to you, you might wanna do the FedEx one. I've done FedEx a couple times. Yeah, and then you're gonna to wanna to do your price. Uh, if, you're make, if you're wanting to make a profit, you gotta consider the selling fee, which is 10%, and you're gonna to want to consider if you're gonna do free shipping or not. I basically got this for free because my mom bought it and she doesn't really care anymore and just don't use it anymore. So I usually list stuff like this. I listed it for 13 bucks, 10% uh, fee, so they took away $1.30. Shipping, they took $5.25 because I did free shipping. If I, cl if I clicked no, uh, they wouldn't charge me that and I would make more, but less buyers would want to buy. And I'll make six bucks, which is pretty good. I have flipped stuff that I've bought and so you gotta consider profit. If you're not making any profit, it's not really worth selling. So you gotta think about that. Don't buy stuff for a lot of money like at Ross or something because just because it's something, you know, you gotta find the deals. I was just editing my post <laughs> so that wasn't one that I just created but you're gonna wanna list and uh, now you got it up on the store and people can buy. Guys, I'm really bad at these kind of how-tos, so leave some constructive criticism down below. I don't mind it at all uh, because I want to get better. And uh, if any resellers are watching this, uh, leave some comments down below, uh, share some tips. I would actually look forward to seeing how you do stuff. Yeah, guys. A sale a day keeps the 9 to 5 away, and I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, please like, subscribe, and comment. It really means a lot. I'm going to do a lot more reselling videos, uh, me heading over to like Marshall or something, trying to find stuff to resell, packaging orders, like giving out some tips and stuff like that, maybe thrift hauls. The hustle is real. I'll see you guys later. Peace.